wanting to drop the kilos and really get into shape. Now, two blokes who know all about that are this week's training pair of Jeremy McClay and Rob Overall. They're in great nick, and tonight's all about high-intensity training. I'm Rob Overall. I'm Jeremy McClay. Today we're doing shoulders. All right, let's get into it. We're going to pre-exhaust first with some side raises and then move on to the compound movement, heavy dumbbell presses. And then we'll do a bit of traps with some upright rows and anterior delts as well and then finish off with some rear delts. The first exercise that we'll be starting off with and obviously warming up with first is side raises, which works the side part of your deltoid. And that is a pre-exhaustion workout. We start with dumbbell raises because it isolates the deltoid a lot, lot better. And you're working that particular muscle group without using too many of the others, so you're actually isolating it. The workout today is going to be along the principles of the HIT training, the high intensity, more along the lines of Mike Mensah, so we'll be involving a lot of pre-exhaustion of the muscles and then hitting some good sets to failure. So basically cutting down and being more time efficient in the gym. Oh. Absolutely detrimental that you do go to failure, but getting that little extra hand just to get it up a little bit and helping you achieve that is what we need sometimes. It's more about form too, just to make sure that you're not starting to swing the weight or bend over in the wrong position, which will potentially cause an injury, especially in your lower back when you're doing shoulders and you're leaning forward. So yeah, it's just to minimise that and to keep that strict movement. So next up we're doing some seated dumbbell presses. Classic compound move, um, true mass builder. Basically, as we've been slightly pre-exhausted with the side raises, we won't have to go as heavy, which is always a good thing to avoid in injuries. So we'll do some really heavy and intense sets on seated dumbbell presses. Mike Mensah was the first one to introduce this style of training and then years later Dorian Yates did a very similar sort of style as well and it is a great way of cutting down on your time in the gym. A lot of people spend way too much time in the gym for basically the same result, you know, a really intense burn and some failure. So this stops you from wasting too much time in the gym, avoiding injuries by the pre-exhaustion technique and stimulating growth with some really intense training. <laughs> One aspect of pre-exhaustion is it stops you from going too heavy on the compound exercises which can be good for people trying to avoid injuries. It's one way of sprinting through a really intense workout, getting an awesome pump, going to absolute failure. Alright, let's go. Hey, up, up. If you're doing it at least once a week, then you're definitely going to see some great and fantastic results from it. That. Now we'll be doing some easy bar front delt raises, which uh, again, it'll isolate your front deltoid, and that's simply done. Uh, you don't have to go too heavy, but again, it'll be a two set failure, and it really will isolate that front cap of your deltoid. For most people, the way they do a workout is they'll do a warm up set and then they'll stack a bit more weight on, do another set, and basically they just keep on building up the weight. This way, you're doing two good warm up sets and then you're going straight into your heaviest and doing two failure sets, and just basically you're working the muscle a lot more because you, you are pre exhausting it before you're hitting a compound movement. You're starting off with probably 50% of your maximum, which you're doing about 12 to 15 reps, and then on your Second warm up, you're doing about 75% of your maximum. And after that, when you get into your two failure sets, you are going to 100%. Come on, fight it up there. Come on, up. up. That's it. Well, rest time, we're really going to work efficiently, and it's going to be basically after I've done my set, then Jeremy will come in and do his. So it's going to be minimised, hence HIT, which is high intensity. So there's not going to be a big gap where we're sitting around talking, going to get drinks, all that sort of stuff. It really is going to be one after the other. Small, short sort of breaks to have a drink and refuel, but pretty much, yeah, it's going to be kept very, very short, and as I said, time efficient. Up. 
not hold. Oh. Heart rate, about 150. <laughs> That's conservative. Hold it up there. We're going to be doing a variation of rear delts. I like to do them lying prone with my chest against a, a low incline bench. That way you eliminate all cheating and you can really isolate the rear delts with strict form. As we've said, we're already heavily pre-exhausted by all the other movements that we've done. So we'll finish off with some really intense, focused rear delt isolation. Sometimes ridiculously light looking dumbbells do the job here because it's extremely strict. You can't use momentum at all to get the weight up. And I find for the last five or 10 degrees of this movement, you're at a mechanical disadvantage. So very light dumbbells do, do the job well. Finish them off. I used to train, obviously, more of the conventional way. So I was training probably about four times a week and I wasn't seeing the actual growth which I wanted to see. I was tending to sort of stay the same. I, I came across the Mike Mentor principle of HIT training and I applied that probably about four to five years ago and it's cut down on my injuries. All my body pain is now gone. And I feel like I can train on a lot more efficiency and I'm not living in the gym and the gym being consuming all my life. I've actually got a real life outside as well. <laughs> so it's good. That's it, beautiful. Oh, absolutely pumped. It actually is a good combination for, you know, from beginners to advanced. The main thing is you are training the muscles to a lot more efficiency and also you will cut down a lot of injuries in doing so. Two, three, four, come on, two more, five, up. So there it is, that's a HIT shoulder workout. As you can hear, we're puffed. You know, in heavy oxygen debt, struggling to recover, which is exactly what we wanted. Short, intense, with a really good pump. Well done, mate. Well done, good buddy. work out. 